Hello, 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 friends. Welcome to Storyvine. I am so, so excited. Not only did I get to start this day with you at 930, but I am getting to end the day with you, sharing one of the stories that our whole library loves, loves, loves. The story I am going to be sharing today is a soup opera, and it is by Jim Gill, and he is a, um, a singer and a musician that you will recognize from our story times because he does all of our favorite songs. So I am going to be doing a soup opera before I start that, I just want to do a very quick plug for the Charlotte Mecklenburg Library's um, Summer Break Read, Learn, Explore program that's going to be happening this summer. And so all you have to do is log on to the website, keep track of your learning activities between uh, June 7th and August 14th. And even just for signing up, you get a free uh, Wendy's Frosty. So go ahead and sign up. And then when you complete the program, you can get a free book. So sign up starts on May 17th and your teachers and adults have more information about that. Now, let's go ahead and do our story. So I'm very excited. A soup opera. Um, this is a participatory story, and I am going to need you to play one of the roles in this opera. And so um, you are going to play the role of the very fancy man, and he has an important line. So I want you to repeat after me. So in an opera is a play where every single line is sung. And so your line is a very dramatic, I can't eat the soup. So I want you to try that with all the drama in the world. Are you ready to sing with me? I can't eat the soup. Excellent. All right. So that is going to be your line. And I will tell you when you sing it. And a soup opera goes like this. Once upon a time, there was a very fancy man and he lived in a very fancy city. And one day he wanted to go to a very fancy restaurant for lunch. And so he walked into the very fancy restaurant and was greeted by a very fancy waiter. And that waiter showed the very fancy man to a table and the very fancy man sat down and he straightened his tie. You can go ahead and straighten your tie. <clears throat> yes. And the waiter presented the very fancy man a menu with a flourish, but the very fancy man said, no, no, I have no need for a menu. Please tell me, what is your soup of the day? And the waiter said, oh, very good, sir. Our soup of the day is French onion soup. And the very fancy man says, I will have a bowl of that. That sounds delicious. Thank you. And the waiter went away and he came back with a bowl of French onion soup and he placed it before the very fancy man and the waiter turned to leave. But then the very fancy man cleared his throat. <clears> throat> the waiter turned around and sang. What seems to be the problem here? And the very fancy man, that's you, sang your line. You remember? I can't eat the soup. Well, the waiter was agog. He was aghast. No one had ever said anything like that before. And so he sang again. What did you say? And the very fancy man sang again. I can't eat the soup. Well, the waiter said, this seems to be a matter for the chef. And so he went and got the chef and brought her back and she straightened her chef's hat. So you can go ahead and straighten your chef's hat. And then she had a silver ladle that she was tapping in her hand as she came out. And she sang in her high soprano voice, what seems to be the problem here? And the very fancy man sang, I can't eat the soup. And the chef tapped her ladle again and sang, what did you say? And the very fancy man sang, I can't eat the soup. Oh, I love that you're singing with me. I love all the drama. And the chef said, this seems to be a matter for the chief of police. And they went to get the chief of police and they brought the chief of police back. And he had a very bristly mustache. Can you bristle your mustache? Ooh, excellent. And he had a silver police badge that he straightened. And he walked up to the very fancy man and he sang in his booming bass voice. What seems to be the problem here? 
and the very fancy man sang, I can't eat the soup. And the chief of police bristled his mustache again. And he said, what did you say? And the very fancy man sang, I can't eat the soup. And the chief of police fixed his badge and then he said, this seems to be a matter for the mayor. And so they left and they came back with the mayor and the mayor waddled in. Had a very funny walk and a very funny voice. It was kind of squeaky. And he sang to the very fancy man, what seems to be the problem here? And the very fancy man sang, I can't eat the soup. And the mayor said, what did you say? And the very fancy man sang, I can't eat the soup. Well, the mayor said, this seems to be a problem for the Queen of England. And they left and they came back with the Queen of England. And she had silk gloves on and she walked into the restaurant and then she waved at everyone around her. Very queenly. Can you give a queenly wave? Yes. And she walked up to the very fancy man and she sang in her queenie voice, what seems to be the problem here? And the very fancy man sang, I can't eat the soup. And the queen very calmly fixed one glove and then the other glove. And then she sang, what? Did you say? And the very fancy man sang again with all of the drama in the world. I can't eat the soup. And the queen asked a question that no one before her had thought to ask. She simply looked at the very fancy man and she said, Why can't you eat the soup? And the very fancy man took a deep breath. And then he sang, because I have no spoon. And thank you. Go ahead and take a bow because you did a wonderful job at your role. I will applaud for you as if we were at the opera together. Thank you friends for joining for Storyvine. If you were with us all day, you just heard 13 stories from many different countries. You heard a story from Peru and Panama and England and Africa and the Caribbean and Russia and Germany and uh, Appalachian Mountains and now one from one of our favorite American storytellers. So thank you for being with us all day and please go forth and share more stories.